Hey guys, hello, hello. It's Darlene with Chaka Tour. I'm echoing in the other room. Uh-oh, I hang on a second. I need to go turn our um, microphone off in here. I'll be right back. Okay, I was broadcasting over our speaker in the other room. <laughs> shop not good you don't need to do that how is everybody if you're out there just say hello if you're coming back and watching the replay just put hashtag replay we are going to revamp our christmas countdown and um do a valentine's one this one is going to be so much fun i'm so excited um yeah to, uh, sorry i'm on a little bit later gosh you know uh just <laughs> One of those mornings, okay, can't talk about it. Anyways, um, I am on now, and then Facebook is finally working, so I struggled to get to go live. Gosh, I had to restart my um, iPads, and yeah, I'm live now. So if you're out there, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. So remember our cute Christmas countdown that we made? Okay, so we're going to do... We're gonna do a Valentine's one and it's going to be super cute these little pieces come off um, so you can use your old house that you had or if you want to you can purchase another one I, I am going to have just the houses by themselves for sale um, I'm going to pull apart the kits and I'm going to sell the houses by themselves and I'll save the transfer and all that stuff for next year so if you want a separate house um, you can purchase that the kits, these kits will be available for sale um, on my VIP group. And then the pieces, um, they'll be for sale in the Etsy store. So I am just trying to share this into my VIP group. <laughs> I haven't even gotten a notification from uh, Facebook that I'm live. Isn't that crazy? That is just so darn crazy. At least I have people on here. There we go. <laughs> I can see me now. There we are. Let me just share this over. Um, if you guys, oh, there it is. Okay, the the share button was hiding. It actually is not making it easy for me today. It is not being fun. Facebook can sometimes be a pain in the booty. So how are you guys? Are you ready for this one? Um, yeah, this, this will be a fun one. I'm excited about it. I am trying to find my VIP group to share this into. Yeah. <laughs> one of those days guys so um just say hello if you're out there if you're coming back and watching the replay just put hashtag replay i am going to um i'm going to put this on my personal page too we always want to be able to share our watts of love so that we can get lots of money for them so all the money is going to go to watts of love to, um, to purchase solar lights okay there we go <laughs> Let me pop you up to myself to say good morning. It is just going to be one of those days. My camera is going crooked on me. Yeah, I just know. <laughs> I just know it's going to be one of those days. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Hi, guys. Hello, I'm Darlene Brown. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. We're going to do a Watts of Love project today. Yes, um, all the money that we raised today will go to Watts of Love to buy solar lights. And we specifically raise money for Malawi, Africa. And we're doing so good, guys. Oh, my gosh. So I'll, let me put down the project. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I, I got our total that we've done. Um, we don't have a yearly um, goal this year. Our, I want to be able to have a total um, between the, it's actually four years. The very first year, I only raised a little bit, like a couple of hundred dollars, because I didn't really know about it. And then the next year, we started raising a lot. We raised like 28000 something, and then last year was 43000 um, So between that and what we've raised this current year, we're at $85,000. So we have $15,000 to go, and we basically have five months to do it in. So we need to raise $3,000 each month, and we can do that. We can definitely do that. So $3,000 a month, that is $750 a week. We can do it, and we usually do a lot. Um, when we do the live in May, we usually do $5,000 that weekend. So we got it, guys. We got this. <laughs> 
we're gonna hit our hundred thousand total. Um, that's that's the goal that I have because things have changed, you know, with um, with wood costing so much more, and lots of things have changed. Okay, so remember how this this comes on and off. There's Velcro pieces, and this is actually chalked on here. Um, this is an insert. This is Velcro. So. Some of you have the Christmas countdown and you did it. Um, some of you never got around to doing your Christmas countdown. That's okay. Um, that's okay. You can either chalk directly onto that or you can buy the little kit. It comes with the cute little roof. And look at these. <laughs> these guys are ladybugs. But if you're not fond of ladybugs, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these in there also. So there'll be hearts in there. Um, you'll be able to choose. So I kind of did it. I, when I painted it last night, yeah, I did the hearts last night. Um, Tara had done the ladybugs already. Um, I did it so they kind of just go back and forth on here. So you could, if you don't like, if you don't like the ladybugs, you can put hearts there. You're gonna get both in the kit. So you can put one or the other somewhere else. So you'll have extra little pieces to do something with. So if you if you're not fond of ladybugs, then you can do something else with it. And this little piece just comes out. So I'll have these houses um, for sale by themselves. I'm gonna pull apart the kits and I'm gonna sell the houses. I'm gonna set the transfers and all the other stuff to the side for next year. And maybe we'll do those on a banner. We'll do it differently. Anyways, you can purchase, if you don't have one of these, you can purchase the entire kit if you want. But if you just want a second house, you can purchase the house. So that's gonna be available in my VIP group after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. Let me see who's here. Let me look and see who's here. Happy What's Up Love Wednesday, guys. This is going to be a fun project. So let me see. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Carrie. Hi, Janine. I know. I love the house. It's so cute. Um, hi, Tiffany. Hello, Lori. And you don't have to put the saying on it. If you have another saying that you like, or you want to do um, just hearts in there, like with our heart background. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's probably in the other room. You can do anything that you want in there, <coughs> as Darlene coughs. Um, you can do buffalo plaid. You can do any little thing in there. I'm trying to think of something else that you can put in there. I don't have anything right here in my hand. But um, you could totally do anything you want in there. The truck doesn't fit. <laughs> you can't do the truck. But if you have another saying that you like better, you can totally do that. Um, this is one of our new transfers with the new um, release with, the, with all the Valentines, the winter release. So I have these, I have 19 of them. So um, that's how many I have. Some of you already have it. Um, some of you have another scene that you'd like on there and that's fine. So it's a combination. I know that if I need to order more, I can still order more. They're still available. So um, where'd I leave off? <laughs> Hi, Tiffany and Lori. Hi, Kim. No, I do, you know what? It Facebook is really odd and it wasn't letting me on. And oh, and I'm not up in the corner. Let me do that. Let's get Darlene in the corner. Yeah, I need to be in the corner. There we go. So, hi Donna Bragg, hi Tina, hi Sarah. Seven degrees in Nebraska, oh my goodness, girlfriend. Hi Melissa, thanks for sprinkling, Tina. Hi Patty, hi Maria, hi Mary. Where did the sound, sound go? Um, does everybody have sound? Um, if you don't have sound, yeah, it just freezes sometimes. <laughs> it's a crazy thing, I know, I know. Facebook is odd. Um, hey, Cindy, um, Donna Bragg, yep, definitely a Facebook thing. Lori got her notice, yay. <laughs> it went out and now, but now it's back. Good, good, good. Hi, Karen. Oh, gosh, yeah, I am praying for you. Let's all pray for Karen. It's hard when you start new medications. Gosh, it is not a fun thing. Hi, Kat, good morning. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Cindy. Donna, yeah, most of the time it will fix itself. I just have to be patient. Hi, Angie. Um, uh, yeah, we'll definitely pray for pray for Karen and anybody else that needs it. Hi, Nikki. Angie, yeah, I love I love the Gingerbread House countdown. Um, it's going to be fun. We'll we'll be doing several different ones this whole year. I can't wait till we get to the one for Fourth of July. Can you even imagine how how fabulous this house is going to 
look with a 4th of July theme in it, if Darlene can say it. <laughs> if Darlene can say it. So, okay, let's see. Oh, you want dragonflies. That would be a lot of fun. Dragonflies would be fun. Hi, Billy. Hi, Angela. Hi, Janice. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Debbie. Terry has no sound, too. Oh, go out and back in. I don't know if somebody can type that. Hi, Kayla. How are you? Good morning. Okay, let's get started, guys. So you're just going to use whatever paint you have. Um, I don't ever, ever provide paint. Um, chalk paste, you usually have. Once in a blue moon, I will um, have chalk paste in with the kit, but most of the time not because um, you guys have jars of it. I think I'm missing a color. No, I'm not. Okay, so if, if I have to run and grab one, I will. <laughs> so I'm using um, America, Americana brand paint. You can use whatever you can find. Um, sometimes it's not available. Sometimes you just have to use what you can find at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. What you have on the shelf, mix whatever you have. So I have white, I have black, I have um, warm beige. We're going to make these look like a little love bug face like a like a human ladybug it's kind of different <laughs> you can do it however you want if you want to do a standard ladybug with a black face you can do that and then the flowers well the background this will be cactus flower um, and then the hearts will do each one at one of these colors um dragonfly and then we're going to use cherry red i hope i have enough <laughs> darlene might be going in the other room for more red Okay, and then this is our transfer. So love makes a family. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my little piece of wood here and we're gonna paint these things. And so this kit will be available in my VIP group and it will also be in the Etsy store. Um, I just had the girls put it in there, but it's as a draft. I just have to activate it after this. I didn't want anybody to get a sneak peek, so it's not active yet. Okay, so let me just get things situated here <laughs> without dumping everything. And I'm trying to not push, I have to. I have my chalk paste back there. <laughs> I'm trying not to push anything over the edge. Okay, we have our roof line, which is going to be red. And I'll just put it there. My tape actually needs changed out, but we're not gonna do it yet. Um, my cute little house is going to be the cactus flower. And then each of these are going to be a different um, color. So let's start with the lightest and then we'll go dark. Um, and then the biggest part will be right down there. I'm trying to make sure that I can see which is the right side. So if you look at something that's laser cut, you can kind of see there's, um, there's like a brownish color on the back. That's the burned edge. That's from the laser. Okay, these little faces and our cute little ladybugs. So if you don't like ladybugs, Give it to your granddaughter. Give it to the next door neighbor. <laughs> you don't have to put it on here. You can do the hearts. So I wanted there to be options for you guys. And then we'll Velcro these on. And I have cute little pipe cleaners or Chanel stems, whatever you want to call these. I still call them pipe cleaners, um, but you might call them something else. Those will be for the antenna, which I need to plug in my hot glue gun. Let's do that right now. Let's plug the hot glue gun in so that it's when it's time, it's ready. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Hi, Sue, how are you? I know the removable insert is great um, because then you can just do so many different things. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm probably gonna get in trouble because this this project is probably 30% um, not chalk couture. Um, and I'm supposed to have it just be 25%, but it goes in the, in the in insert sorry it goes in the house okay so so here let's count let's count so we have chalk paste 25 percent chalk paste 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent yeah <laughs> i know it's so hard guys i'll probably get um probably get a call from compliance um you know i try i try so hard i do okay gonna put our color on here um I still have not, um, I still have not found the exact um, part of our PMP where it tells me that my project has to be 
Oh, can only be 25% something else. So I wonder, guys, when somebody goes on and they show you how to do something, I don't know how that works. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure it all out. I don't want to get in trouble, honestly. I want to be able to show you different things. I want to be able to raise money for Watts of Love. So I'm really trying hard to do the right thing always. So tomorrow, tomorrow, because I'm going to do, we're going to do the winter truck insert tomorrow. It will be on the other page because zero of it is Chalk Couture. So I will post the link for the other page that we're going to be on tomorrow because um, tomorrow the project will be 0% will be Chalk Couture. So I'm trying to do the right thing and it'll be the first time that I've done. Um, I might even have to test it today <laughs> and just do like testing, testing. Um, because I haven't done a Facebook Live on that other page yet. So um, I want to make sure that it actually works. Okay, maybe I can just put my paintbrushes right up here. I don't need that many. So, okay, dragon fruit. I'm just going to go down the, here. Maybe I should be doing the face first. You know what? We have to do the little faces, do details on it. So maybe Jarlene should be doing the face first. So I'm going to paint it kind of like a human face in a way, like love bugs. I don't know. Um, it was so cute. Tara, Tara made these and her little sample was just so stinking cute. But you can totally just do a black face for your ladybug, a standard. You can do a standard ladybug. Do it how you want to do it. <laughs> it is totally up to you. <laughs> totally up to you. So, um oh good <laughs> very good Sue okay and then um our red we'll do our red because we have to do the little legs and we have the little spots see um Tara engraved all these well actually it's called scoring it's different um they're scored so scoring just lightly does um the outline so that you know where to put the dots for your cute little uh, ladybugs <laughs> whatever those things are Oh my gosh, I I hope I have enough red. Darlene, do you have enough red? I don't know. I gotta do the roof red and I have to do one of these um, hearts red. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see if we have enough. We might have to go in the other room and grab another bottle of red. Good luck trying to figure that out. So, Oh, guys, I want to I want to talk to you about Watts of Love because some of you don't know what Watts of Love is and why do we raise money for Watts of Love? Why do we dedicate Wednesday and why does Darlene give um, all of that money <laughs> that we raise? Why do we do that? Um, why do we give money to Watts of Love? And Watts of Love is a really great foundation, er, foundation that supplies solar lights to countries to villages, um, to communities that don't have electricity. So there are many places around the world, guys, that um, they don't have electricity. Do you know that? <laughs> there are so many people in this world that have no electricity. And instead of using um, like kerosene and candles and stuff like that, which end up being so expensive, um, Nancy Economou, who's in charge of, who, who founded Watts of Love, has been taking solar lights to these people to help them because they're spending so much money out of their pocket for solar lights that it's hard for them to feed their family or to pay for um, medications. So if we take a solar light over there, they no longer have to buy kerosene. They no longer have to be breathing that crap in and their little babies breathing that in as if they were smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. That's what kerosene is when they burn it inside their little hut. Um, so anyways, for every $50 that we raise, um, it pays for a solar, solar light. So, you know, the solar light may not cost $50, but processing it and getting somebody over there, the whole process of, of getting a solar light to that person um, it, it costs $50. So basically that's what we say for every $50, we raise one solar light for them. So we've been able to do so much. Can you even imagine? Let's do the math guys. When we hit our hundred thousand, how many lights 
<laughs> Darlene's not even going to think. When we hit $100,000, which we're going to do this year, and divide that by 50, I know somebody can just do it in their head, 2,000 solar lights we will have, have earned um, and raised. We will have, have been able to distribute. And those help seven people. Each one helps an average of seven people. 14,000 people that you and me, that we will have been able to help um, better their life. Okay, so isn't that great? Isn't that great that we can do that? Just by making, making crafts. Yeah, by making a craft project every Wednesday, we are able to do that. It is so fabulous. So thank you. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for being here and doing this. And let me find one of the solar lights so I can show you. So this dries while well, this dries. Um, the solar light is... I have several different ones. <laughs> Let me find the one that they actually distribute. So, um, and then where is my little sheet? I was wanting to show you guys, because some of you, okay, so some of you haven't seen this yet because you're new. So this is what they take to the villages and they show them this. They show them um, that a solar light equals money, basically. Um, so no longer will they have to have kerosene or candles, um, and they can use the money to, um, on each day, they can use that money to do other things. Um, they get to circle which one they want to get first. They want a chicken, they want to raise uh, money for a goat, a pig, a cow. What is their goal to do that? So, so this is the little sheet that they take to the villagers. And they are able to um, communicate with them that way and have them fill out one of those. And then they go back. They go back the next year and see how they've done. This is one of the solar lights, and it has a cute little heart in the center. So if somebody is vis visually impaired, <laughs> they can just find the little heart, and they press the heart. And um, if, it, if this is charged, it will go on. Okay, so light, brighter, bright, brightest. <laughs> And then flashing, okay? So that is the solar light that they distribute. And this is the side that faces the sun. They can wear this on their neck. They can put it on their head. But that's what we raise money for, guys, is these solar lights. And one of these days, Darlene's going to get to go over there and do our little trip and help distribute them. So anyways, you guys, when you purchase these on Wednesday, all that money goes to that. So let's get this dry and get our second coat. So thank you. Thank you for being here and being supportive. I appreciate it. And they appreciate it. So, hi Cheryl, how are you? Hi Vicki, hi Tina. Hi Michelle. Okay, we're going to say on these. Okay, so feel it. If it feels damp, then it is not dry yet. Okay. <clears throat> so you're gonna take your little sander. These are great. They're they're um <laughs> you can get these from Walmart or Amazon. They're really nice because you can just replace this part. So when it wears out, when it has paint all over it, because you messed up, because you sanded too soon, <laughs> then you can just replace that little piece. And these are from Gator. Gator is the brand, so you can get these through Gator. If you just go onto Amazon and you search Gator, you'll find it. Um, if you are at Walmart and someone hasn't purchased them all, because <laughs> I only see them once in a while there, um, you'll be able to find them. Okay, just sanding this, gonna put our second coat. We do need a second coat. Um, let me get my tack cloth. A tack cloth, it just, it's kind of like a waxy rag, has wax on it, it gathers the dust. So just go ahead and get your dust off of there, just like that. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our second coat. We are praying that we have enough red. <laughs> if you have any questions, just put them out there. Hi Sandy, how are you doing? Sometimes I don't know if I already said my sometimes my memory span, my short term memory is just gone. <laughs> I th I honestly don't think it has to do with Alzheimer's or anything like that, but you never know. Um, it does run in our family. So, you know, could be a problem. But I think I just get busy and I'm working on stuff. I'm like, oh, did I say hello? I would rather say hello twice. 
<laughs> then not say hello. I don't want to be Rudy Tootie, you know? Um, so anyways, guys, this is our project. Isn't it so fun? And we have so many more projects. So tomorrow, like I said, we will be on the other page because there is zero chocolate tour on our cute little, oops, ah, our cute little winter insert for our truck. So we have a winter insert and then we will have our Valentine's one after that. Um, Tara has a whole bunch of things already designed. <laughs> and yes, we will have Valentine's gnomes. I don't know if we'll do winter gnomes because um, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna have time to do everything. Okay, so she's worked on, she has the um, Valentine's leaning ladder. She has so much. <laughs> we could do like 10 days straight of just things like that, but I kind of want to spread them out and not have something every day. And oh, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, remember last week we did the trucks and um, several of you said, are you going to list the trucks for sale? Okay, so they're going to post today too. So they'll post this morning. Um, but I also have the truck, um, remember the old one that has all the different things. It has fall and spring. I'll post that too because I still have some of those retired transfers. So I'll post those as well. So if you haven't, um, do not have those yet, you'll be able to get that. So I will be having a transfer sale soon but I'm trying to get some of these other things out there. As I go through stuff, I'm like, oh, we can do a kit with this. Oh, we can do a kit with that. So I'm pulling those things. If I have enough of something, if I have like even eight or 10, and it's something that I think that most people have, we'll probably make a kit. Um, because we need to do those things. <laughs> we need to do all the fun things, guys. Life is too short, you know? It's, it's um, honestly, today is gonna be a tough day, day for me. Um, lack of sleep makes your memory bad too. You should know. Yeah, exactly. Pretty paint colors. Thank you. Okay, so let me let me tell you the paint colors again. So we have white and black, and then we have for the little faces warm beige. And then these colors, this is cactus flower and dragon fruit. <laughs> and then cherry red. So um just cute, cute little Valentine's colors. So when you put this together, you can choose whether you want to do the hearts on there, or if you want to do the cute little ladybugs. And then just use the other thing on something else. I didn't want to sit there and have people say, oh, I want this one and I want that one. It is so much easier for me <laughs> to just give you both in the kit. I didn't charge you any extra. I am just giving you those pieces because it will be time saving for me to not have to sit there and figure out who needs what. <laughs> Honestly, and um, okay, so if you have received a kit from me recently and you're missing a piece, you're missing Velcro, you're missing ribbon, you're missing whatever, just send me a message and Darlene will get that in your next order. It happens, guys. It does. It does. And just make sure that when you get things that you open them um, fairly quickly and you look at the kits, just check them out. I know sometimes you don't have time to paint them right away. But check it out, make sure that you got what you ordered and that I didn't um, make a mistake and not send you something. Like there's times when I miss sending a transfer. It can happen. <laughs> and the girls try to, you know, they're, they're my packers. They try to figure out if I miss something. They try to help me. But it's gonna happen, guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm human, it's gonna happen. Is there enough in this? I might have enough in the brush. Okay, we're almost done where we can do our detail. We're gonna do our detail on our cute little ladybugs. <laughs> so they're gonna look kind of like a little face. I told I told Tara that it looks like a Dracula face to me, kind of. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, today today's gonna be a tough one, guys. Most of you already know, and I've received a few messages this morning already. Um, today is Molly's last day, so it's going to be a tough one. She had a rough night last night, so we know we know 100% that it is the right thing. So I I love my Miss Molly. 
I've been taking lots of pictures of her, even though I hate to remember her like she is right now. Um, you know what? The corner of that. <laughs> I missed the bottom corner, the pointy part. So yeah, it's really, it's really hard, guys, um, to let go of your pet. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Let me wait till I'm done with this. I make sure those faces are really dry. So it, it's really hard to let go of her. It really, really is. Um, but she's gotten so much worse. And so, I mean, I know without a doubt that we're doing the right thing. I know that she's not going to get any better. Let's just move this up here out of the way. She's not going to get better. She's only going to get worse. And I don't want to see her suffer. It's it's not fair. It's not fair to uh, allow an animal to suffer like that. So, um, okay, so let me do this. We're going to do the little dots on our cute little ladybugs. So, Dracula face, yeah. <laughs> it does. It's going to look like a Dracula face. So, um, it's, it's go going to be cute. <laughs> I don't know because it has, it has the little, um, it has the, the little thing like this. My hands are a little shaky this morning, guys. I'm sorry. And I already decided I can't start crying because I won't stop. So, um, I just wanted to talk about it because, um, you guys have all asked me questions about Molly and, um, you know, she's a good dog. She is a good dog. If my lines are not straight, it doesn't matter, Darlene. <laughs> so it has this little thing at the top, and it's going to be super cute, I promise. When it's done, it's going to be really cute. There are ladybugs that are like this. I looked it up because I thought, did she just make that up? No, there, there are cute little ladybugs that have little faces that look human. So it looks like a little love bug, like, like your people in your house. Um... Okay, so there's that part, and then we'll do the eyes, and then we'll do our little dots on our ladybugs, and we'll, oh, we can do the feet right now. Let's do the feet, or let's just start at the top. Let's do the first one, and I'll do the dots. I need to do the dots, and I do need to do eyes and nose, and um, yeah, so I, I needed to get back with people last night. There were things that I needed to do and take care of, but um, Molly was my priority, and so if I didn't get to a message, I'm sorry. Um, I just have to, you have to do the things that you have to do. Okay. So let's see. I need, I need more than one stylus. I need different sizes for the eyes. Okay. So, so this one, we're going to do larger eyes and the nose. So we'll use the larger one and we'll do little cheekies on it. <laughs> it's going to be cute. I promise. Okay, so then I'm going to switch to my other one that's smaller. These are just little styluses. You can get these in your um, at your craft your local craft store um, where you get your paint. Okay, so you're going to get your paint there too. I don't ever supply paint. I the chalk paste um, once in a blue moon um, do I ever um, have chalk paste in with the kits um that's why we have the chalk paste sale so the chalk paste sale was to help you get your colors okay so there's the little nose trust me it's going to be cute once you see it done it, it will be really super cute so thank you for all the oh it's called the widow's peak is that what it is <laughs> so thank you guys i can't i honestly i'm going to go back through the messages um i just you know here here's the sad thing so um What's, what's going to happen is um, Stubby, Stubby loves Molly so much. And my husband had to hold Stubby back yesterday while I was giving her IV. The day before when I was giving her her, her fluids, um, Stubby washed her face the whole time. It just licked and licked and licked and knew that she was um, not doing well and cried and I mean he literally cried as a dog cries you know just whine and cry and knowing that something's wrong and they're going to be there when when she's euthanized today they will be there but they will be during the process they'll be in the in the other room and he's going he's going to be the problem is that um, he loves her so much um, 
and then we've had this done before with Bailey and it was just you know it really was so peaceful honestly it's a very peaceful process um the lady she's so good and it will it will all be fine and then once once um sh once she has passed the other dogs will be able to come in and sniff her and know that she's gone so that's that's one of the main reasons that i want it done at home is so the other dogs can say their goodbye and they understand okay so i'm just doing the feet and then doing the dots and it's going to be tough it's, it's going to be tough i i can't I can't let the tears start. <laughs> they already started this morning when I was reading some of you guys' messages. Um, you know, it's hard because we love our fur babies. We absolutely love our fur babies and um, we would do anything for them. But they don't live as long as we do. And Miss Molly, actually, she's only eight years old, but um, English Bulldogs, that's their average age. And we knew that. We knew that when we got her that they don't live as long as other dogs um she's been a good dog she's been a good good dog guys all right deep breath darling okay and i'm gonna do the feet on the on this the hearts i'm going to do um i want to do some shimmer on them so we'll pull out our shimmer and we'll do some shimmer and we'll chalk our cute little pattern on here and um i'm going to kind of dry these but the dots are going to take a while to dry. So I'm going to be so, so careful with it that I don't stick my fingers in it because it, it can take like up to a whole hour to dry all the way through. Okay, <laughs> let's dry this. I need to put dots in their eyes and oh, we need to do their cheekies. I probably should have done that first. So we're going to do cheekies and I, you know, I used this color yesterday. I'm going to use dragon fruit. I'm going to make it brighter. Okay. So thank you for all your messages. I can't look at it. <laughs> we do not want Darlene crying right now. I am an ugly crier. I am I'm such an ugly crier. Okay, so I'm taking my little, is this is like a little stencil brush that's round and I tapped it into my um, paint and then I am just going to kind of twist and put little cheekies on here. I should have done it first so that I don't get into the black. <laughs> his cheekies are going off of his cheekies. It's okay. We're not worried. This one, I'm going to kind of go in a circle because it's bigger. And then let's dry it and let's put little dots in there. So, and I have to do this. I can't take a day off. People, you know what? People tell me all the time, Darlene, it's okay. You don't have to do your Facebook Live. Yes, I do. It's therapeutic. It helps me. This is my therapy. This is how I make it through life. <laughs> so little rainbow feet yes <laughs> they're so cute yes she did live a very spoiled life soon knows soon has been over to my house she knows how molly is it's so funny my husband would take molly to the desert and leave the other dogs home okay we need to chalk our design on on the house too Okay, so the eyes, the eyes are dry enough that I can put their dots in them and we're going to make a little smile and we can glue the faces on there and then we'll do our, um, our shimmer on here. We'll do, we'll chalk a pattern on here. If you want to chalk a pattern on your hearts, you could do buffalo plaid and polka dots, whatever you have. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm going to take the end of my stylus, I'm going to dip it into my white, and I'm going to give them little dots. <sighs> Deep breath, Darlene, so that you don't mess it up. And then um, on this, on the, you know what, I'm going to have to use the smaller end to get tiny little dots for these eyes. So I'll do, I do a dot, dot, a dot dot here and a dot dot there here dot there dot everywhere dot dot <laughs> and be really careful when you're doing the tiny one because he has teeny tiny eyes all right and then let's just give him a smile give them a smile okay so you can use any permanent marker that you have a little sharpie will work um, this one is the IdentaPen. this is what we use to personalize ornaments with so IdentaPen is great 
just give it a little smile because these are our little ladybug families. And then eyelashes. I like eyelashes. You can do whatever you want. You probably should really wait until it's dry. <laughs> I'm trying hard not to get it into the white. Okay, so I'm just drawing little faces and little eyelashes. I suggest you wait till it's 100% dry so you don't mess it up. But I want to be able to show you how to do this. Okay. And you know what, guys? It'll be fine. <laughs> and if you have to flip it over, if you totally mess it up, flip it over and paint it over. Okay, going to put some glue on here and just glue these on so they can be sitting, drying while we're waiting. Um, well, while we're waiting. <laughs> while, we're, while we're doing the rest of this stuff. So I'm going to... I had tipped his head sideways and then it made it really hard for me to put his cute little antennas on. So I'm going to keep their faces straight up and down because last night I was like, oh, it'd be so cute to kind of go sideways. Oh no, then Darlene had to put on those antennas and that was not fun. Not fun. Okay, so let me grab my chalk piece that's right here. I have a couple of colors. You can use whatever you have if you want to do shimmer on your stuff. I actually have this one. Some of you guys... I have, might be able to tell me. I don't know where I got this shimmer <laughs> at one of the conventions. Um, and it is a shimmer, like a shimmer rose color. I don't know. So it's, it's kind of a really pretty shimmery color. You can make your own. We used to mix our colors all the time before we had other shimmers and we only had shimmer frost. Well, actually before even that, when we just had shimmer silver. So, um, what is my daughter-in-law's Etsy page again? I can't say it here. I'll send you a message. I'll send you a message. <laughs> I'm not allowed to put it here. Um, but Or you can PM me and ask me. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of shimmer on here. You know what? And I don't know why. Why can't I say it here? Because if I can say Michael's and, and the Hobby Lobby again. Because <laughs> I, I have an okay to say that. So um, their, the name of their Etsy store is Creative Laser Art For You, and it's the number four. So it's Creative Laser Art, the number four, and the letter U. So I guess, I don't know. Maybe I'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> it will be on there. It's not on there yet. I have to activate it for them or have them activate it when they get here. Um, but the pieces, they'll be on there. Just like the other kit, the Halloween one was on there. Okay, so I think this was probably from Leadership a couple of years ago, maybe. I'm not sure. It was from one of them. <laughs> or from Convention. Okay, so that is kind of, it doesn't even have a name on the bottom. I can't turn it over because the stuff will come out. I'm going to grab a couple of other paintbrushes. And we will just put some little shimmer on these hearts. You, you can put a pattern on it if you want. Like I said, if you want to do polka dots, um, you can absolutely do that. I don't need that much, Sterling. <laughs> I just want to give it a little bit of shimmer to just make it a little glitzy. Just like that. How cute is that? All right, and then red. Okay, so this is shimmer crimson. So use what you have. You don't have to have everything. You can use what you have if you ha if you have um if you have what I want to say <laughs> if you have sparkly stuff glitter you can put glitter on these so you could put Mod Podge down and then sprinkle glitter in there and that would be super cute when that you could put a saying you could put um, you could write on these with a chalk pen and put some of the little heart scenes like the little sweetheart scenes. You can put that. Use your imagination, guys. You can do something different than what I did. You don't have to do the exact same thing. You can do a different transfer than what we're going to do. Um, totally up to you. Once you get the wood cutouts, just do your own thing. <laughs> do your own color. If you want it to be black and white, do it black and white. If you want it to be gold and silver, do it gold and silver. Okay. There's no right or wrong, honestly. Okay, here's our transfer we're going to use on the house. Okay, so let me just slide these over so that I don't... Did you hear... <laughs> Subby's over there snoring now. He's sound asleep on my bed. I probably need to fill in the center of that. Let me just get my red one. And tap, tap, tap. 
the center to get a little more a little more glitter right in there okay I think we're good <laughs> so you won't tell <laughs> I don't know if I can say it or not it's so funny I, I honestly I just don't know um, I know there's people out there that um, I know you're out there <laughs> I know there's people out there that run to compliance I already know that I already know who you are <laughs> And yeah, and it's okay because I try to do everything that I possibly can to always do the right thing. And that's all that I can ask of myself or anybody else. So I'm kind of trying to get this close to the bottom so that the roof line isn't in the way. And I want to have it a little bit over because I'm going to have the ladybugs and the hearts on that side. So I'm going down a little bit and over, making sure that I am not off the bottom. We're just going to use, what color did she use? Let me, I have to look, I have to cheat. Where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so Tara used white on the words and then red right here. So I have my white and then just regular red. Should I use regular red or should I use my shimmer? Uh, I think I'm going to use shimmer. She just used, um, oh, you know what? We could use, we could use our shimmers. Let's use shimmer. So um, Tara used bright white and candy apple red on her sample. But Darlene is going to use shimmers. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to open them back up. I'm going to grab squeegees. And I know I have stir stick somewhere. Look at this, guys. I washed all my dirty <laughs> things. I actually soaked them. I, I put hot, 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 hot water in here and then dish soap and soak them so that they come clean. That's how many were dirty. <laughs> I just. I hadn't washed them for a week. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, secret confessions. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Secret confessions of Darlene. Uh, sometimes I don't wash my transfers right away. I, You know what? It's hard. It's hard, guys, sometimes. Sometimes I just don't have time because my phone will start ringing. The second that I get off here, there are times when my phone is ringing for my job because I do still work full time. I'm juggling. I'm like a clown juggling it all. And sometimes those balls fall on the ground and I have to pick them back up <laughs> and get them back in motion because not everything works out the way that we want it to. Okay, there's my red. Let's peel that up so it doesn't dry in there. Ooh, we're going to need a second coat because you know what? I think this is my older one. This is, yeah, this is. This is the older one. We need a second coat because it's not bright enough for me. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's still not that, but you know what? Let's dry it. It's not a shimmery. Let's, let's actually dry it. This is my older, um, my older shimmer. Yep. Okay, while we're at it, let's try these guys. Let's try these. Okay. All right. <laughs> shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I love shimmer. Okay. So let's put, let's put a second coat on here. One, two, three. <laughs> so this is like the third. Um, sometimes like the older, you know what? It's just not. Darlene, are you not pressing hard enough? I think it's because we're, we're getting close to the bottom. Okay. There we go. I just had to press harder sometimes to get, <laughs> to get that to go through. There we go. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's do the white. The white will be fine. Um, sometimes you have to add some water to your shimmer. Like that, to me, is, is just a little bit thick. I'm going to add some water to it. Make sure you're using distilled water so that you don't have moldy paste. <laughs> It can happen, and if you have a jar that you open and um, it just is growing stuff on it, you know what? Some, once in a blue moon, and I've only had that one time ever in three and a half years, have I had a jar that was kind of icky, and it was live. Do you remember when I did that? It wasn't that long ago, <laughs> and I was like, oops, we're not using that one today, um, but it was old. It was like three years old. The jar was really old, and so totally expect that sometimes okay I hope this is a good enough contrast 
So when she did the white, it looked really good. I'm hoping that the shimmer is a good enough contrast that I don't have to go back over it with something else. I will if I have to. We don't always make the right decisions the first time. Sometimes we have to redo, and that's the great thing about Chalk Tour is that you can just wash your transfer and you can do a different color if you don't like the color that you did, okay? Um, it's very forgivable. And on a chalk, chalkboard surface, you can just wash it off and try it again, okay? So, all right, let's peel it up and see what we have. Oh, it looks good. I missed the top though. Yeah, it looks good. I am gonna just go over it a second time just because We'll just go over it a second time and make sure that we have everything. Because we don't want to miss anything. And I'm pressing pretty hard because shimmer takes more effort to get it through this um, silk screen. Okay. All right. Let me take a peek. Looks good. Looks good. Now I'll lay this back down because remember I pulled up the other one and uh, did a second coat after I pulled it up. And let me just pull up the from the bottom, okay? <laughs> Let's do that. So once you've pulled it up and you're putting your second coat, it really does help a lot. Okay, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Okay, there's our cute little Love Makes a Family. So this is a new transfer. If you have another transfer that has a cute family saying on it, just use that. You don't have to have a new transfer every time. Don't, don't, I don't ever want anybody to spend more money than they need to, honestly. <laughs> you don't have to have it all. You can use what you have. You can use the colors that you have. Um, I know some people want to have everything. You don't have to. <laughs> You do not have to have everything. Okay, let's dry this. We'll make sure our hearts are dry and then we will assemble this. I'll show you how this goes. The hearts are kind of tricky to do and we're gonna, we're gonna glue them onto this and we're gonna do our cute little antennas on our um, ladybugs. So we'll do that. Um, you gotta leave to work. Oh, have a great Wednesday, Kim. Watch the replay. Oh, Angela says she keeps a jar with water and awesome cleaner from um, Dollar Tree to put your tools in. That's, that is so great. That's, <laughs> you know, cleaning the tools is a lot, is a hard thing. Now the transfers, um, let's see, how, what does it say? Now the transfers clean, no. You know, I have, I have a box of transfers. <laughs> true confession, true confession, guys. I used to clean my transfer immediately because we used to soak them in water while we were doing our live. And then once they told us that you couldn't soak them in water because they changed the adhesive, I got lazy. Yeah, I did. I got lazy about cleaning them because um, they said, oh, it's okay because you can clean them. You can clean them a whole week later. It's not dry all the way, but it's dry enough. Okay, so we're gonna take our cute little house. Like I said, I have extra houses. If you don't have houses yet, I have these. This is just going to go right in there. Okay, and we'll do the whole Velcro thing. We'll do all of that. We'll do our cute little um, antennas on our, on our ladybugs. So let's just pull this stuff off the bare sheet. I need to put some new tape on this. <laughs> it is time for new tape. Okay, so you can make a decision on if you want to do the hearts or if you want to do ladybugs. That's totally up to you. But you have the other one for a project. So I'm going to just kind of glue it together like this on here. So I'm going to bring my glue gun over and we'll do that and we'll glue our little antennas on here. So we have to make antennas. So you have to grab, hopefully I have my wire cutters. <laughs> Wire cutters, where are you? Here's how you make antennas. So antennas are really easy. Okay, that's gonna go up there. We'll get that out of the way. Antennas are really easy to make. You're gonna take your little stylus. <laughs> Could you use the countdown house? Um, yeah, that's what this is. This is the countdown house. This is exactly what that is. Um, yes, you can use that. So you don't have to buy a house. Um, it's the same thing. So here, here's the countdown house. 
we just added things to it like in the at christmas time we added these pieces so th that's exactly what it is um so it fits right into the countdown house that's that's what i'm doing is i'm just going to take some of my countdown kits that are extra i'm going to i'm going to take them apart and i'll sell the house by itself if somebody just wants a house so um because some people might want to just have an extra Okay, this is the way you're going to make your antennas. You're going to take a stylus or a pencil and you're going to roll that um, Chanel stem or pipe cleaner, whatever you want to call it. You're going to roll it around there and you're going to cut some little antennas. Okay, we need six because we have two for each of your cute little ladybugs. Okay, so that's how you're going to make your antennas. For the smaller one, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. You can find something that's smaller or you can just do it with your finger. So you're going to need two of these black pipe cleaners. So I'm going to send you two because um, one is not enough. One will not do it. Okay, so see how you just wrap it around and then you have the little parts. So these are antennas. <laughs> and we'll trim them down a little bit. So let's get our two for our tiny ladybug. So all you're going to do is you are going to just make it a little bit smaller. Just use your fingers and make it just a little bit smaller, just like that. So that'll be for the small one. And we're going to trim them down. We will trim them down. <laughs> so let's see here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm reading comments and I missed a few things back there, evidently. All right. So you'll have a little bit left over. I don't know what you'll use that for. Maybe you'll have a pipe you need to clean. <laughs> so just make that other one. This is your little one. And I have my glue gun plugged in. Let's move this house for a moment so we can bring our glue gun over. And hopefully it is hot. Yes, it is hot. Okay, so I have this cute little mat. These are just the baking mats. It's great to have your glue gun on that, and then if um, glue goes onto your surface it, of this, it just peels right off, okay? So we need this to be shorter because these, um, like their head um, is shorter, okay? So this head is smaller. So let's do, cut a little bit off, and cut a little bit off this one. These are for our medium one. Let's, let's do shorter, okay, so just trying to get them a little bit shorter to make it easier when I glue them on. Okay, and that's probably perfect for our big one. Okay, so all you're gonna do, you're really gonna wait until it's completely dry. So, so we're gonna try to do this without it being completely dry. Um, it's pretty dry, it's pretty dry. Okay, I'm gonna be brave. <laughs> I'm going to be brave and do it. Okay, so you're gonna just put some glue up at the top of the head, just like that. Put a little puddle of glue and then take your two antennas. Let's make this a little bit smaller so that it's a smaller antenna. And then you're just going to put them right in there. They're just gonna peek out just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't look too dorky. <laughs> So you can take, remember, we can take one of our squeegees to press it down so that your fingers aren't getting into that glue, okay? So you don't want to touch your fingers in there, but you can certainly just take your squeegee because that glue is just going to peel right off of your squeegee. Your squeegee is a great little tool to use. If you have those little fingertip things, those are great too. Okay, so I'm going to put my glue right up here. I obviously did not um, silence my my front door thing. Okay, that's going to go right there. And then this one's going to go right here. And then just press it down with your squeegee. Just like that, that until it's, and kind of get it so that it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Okay, so just hold it. There we go. All right, and we'll, when we flip it over, we'll kind of adjust them. Okay, for the bigger one, let's do that. This is the daddy or the mommy, because there might just be a mommy in a household, right? Doesn't have to be daddy. You can just be the biggest person in the household. Okay, and I'm not gonna make these with five or six on them, so don't ask. <laughs> they are what they are. 
they have three. It fits on the side of it. Um, no special requests are going to be allowed. <laughs> if you already sent one, sorry. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, so let's just make sure that this is completely on there and we'll turn it over. Okay, so I stuck my finger into it. It's all, it's all nice and um, cooled down there. Okay, so there's their cute little antennas. <laughs> I told my daughter-in-law they look like Mickey ears, okay? So it does kind of look like they're Mickey ears and that's okay. You know what, you, <laughs> I think they're kind of cute. I think they're kind of cute. Okay, now we have to get our little heart thing ready. And this was kind of a challenge for me, guys, because I want it to be on the, on there and I want it to go back and forth like this. Um, and then it's going to help this to hold it at the back. Okay. So what I did was I just started gluing it and then I flipped it over and I glued this to the back because that's what you're going to put the Velcro pieces on. Um, let me, <laughs> so, okay. Making sure I'm still live because <laughs> you never know. You never know what's going to happen. And it's 740 already. Oh my goodness. Where does my time go? Honestly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this. So the, so the kits have posted, the, the kit for the truck and the kit for, um, for this have posted already. And um, I will make sure that we get it activated in um, Etsy for you guys. So if you wanna purchase it, but this is going to be so darn cute on there. So just put some glue there. You're just gluing it together. If you need to clean some of that out, you can do that. You could use regular glue. I am just using hot glue just so that it dries right away. And we're gonna flip that over and then you're gonna glue this on there. So you're gonna put quite a bit of glue on there. I'm gonna need another glue stick. Um, yeah, gonna grab another glue stick. These are these are the Gorilla Glue Sticks. I love these. It's what I trust. <laughs> it's going to work for you. You're going to need a lot. Okay, so you want a lot of glue on there. Yeah, that much, really, seriously. Um, you're going to glue this on, down onto there. It's going to come up through the thing. You can use your little, little squeegee to kind of get that so that it's not coming out of there. And just get that to sit down onto there. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over. We're going to grab our house and I'm going to show you how to Velcro this all together. And sorry, it's such a long project. So this all is going to go to Watts of Love, guys. This is our Watts of Love project today. Um, I don't think it's quite dry. I wonder if I, I wonder if I put this just on air. If it will dry it. Maybe. Maybe it will cool it down. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping. <laughs> I hate to stick my finger in it. Okay. Um, I can turn it over. You know what? I'll just turn it over onto here because it doesn't matter if it gets onto this, this little sill pat thing. It's like a little baking thing. Okay. We're good. We're good to go. <laughs> let's bring the house back. Let's get this all together. Darlene is unplugging her glue gun because she's so famous for not doing that. And we will get this all put together. It's going to be so, so cute. Okay, here's our little house. You're gonna get five pieces of Velcro. Okay, so you're gonna Velcro this part on and then you can Velcro this on or your hearts, whichever one you decide. And if you don't use the hearts on here, use them on something else. If you don't use the ladybugs on here, use them on something else, right? Um, so you're going to get both. You're going to get, you'll get, um, there's choices. Okay. So you can get all the wood pieces. You can get it with the transfer. You can get it with the house if you want. Um, your chalk piece and all that, you already have jars usually, or, um, you have chalk piece singles. Those are not coming with the kits. And, um, once, once in a blue moon, I'm able to do that. They don't have all of the chalk paste singles in stock. Okay, so I'm just opening in that. I'm going to put these, I'm actually gonna cut some of these, okay? So sometimes you're gonna cut them in half because it's easier, okay? So the, so the top 
Okay, so the sides, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to cut the sides so that they go like this. So that they don't show behind my cute little scallop part. <laughs> because on some of the house, house pieces, it would be fine. But on this cute little scallop with the hearts, it's going to show. Okay, and then this will go up at the center. This will be fine. So see how that will cover all that? That was my goal, okay? Now I'm going to cut these two in half, and I'm going to put them right side up on here with the, with the sticky side up, okay? So, so I have the sticky side up so that I can press that roof part down in there. So if you already have your house, you're just going to use whichever side you um, need to, but you're going to get five pieces of each type because I will have no idea which ones you use. <laughs> Okay, so then just take your little roof line here, your little, your cute little scallop roof, and just press that down onto the Velcro. And that way, it's removable, okay? So it's removable. Okay, these guys, we want to put it here and here. And um, let's see, what did I put on there? I did the prickly side, right? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of look and see where is it going to hit. Now, if you already have your um, house, you can move, you can peel these off. These Velcro things will come off. So if you have your house from before and you already have these things on there, you can peel these off and move them. They will easily come off of the wood. They are not on there forever and ever if you need to move them. Okay, so see how that is? And then I will just press this right down into that. And there we go. And then it's removable. <laughs> So I'm gonna to choose to put my ladybugs on there because I think that's cute. This I'll just save and put somewhere else or you could put on the other side if you wanted to. You totally could do that. Um, whatever you want to do guys. So see how you can just peel this off. Just peel it off carefully the first time, okay? And then just press those down. Make sure that you press that down, okay? So it peels off and then you could put the hearts there if you wanted to. So it's, it is interchangeable. We'll be, we'll keep doing things. We will have, um, we will have St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay, see how this just pulls off just like that. So you just carefully peel it off, then press these down. Just make sure that very first time that you press those back down. But there you go. We're done. That was a long project. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sprinkling, guys. Oh my gosh. Hey, Myra, how are you? I know the ladybugs it's really cute it's super cute <laughs> yes yes sorry charlie only the best tasting tuna gets to be star because that's so funny yes <laughs> okay so so like um kayleen had kayleen had asked um can you use the countdown for christmas house that's exactly what this is it is that house so it will fit that um don't worry so if, when you're you're ready to do something different you're ready to take off your christmas stuff you're just going to peel that up off and you're going to put your other stuff on there and just put this in a bag just have a bag in one of your drawers that you save all your little little pieces and we'll just keep going through the whole year because we may as well use this house piece for that but if you want to do the house and just have it up on the shelf and have something there year round um i have extra houses so just um you can select that okay i'm gonna go i have to clean up <laughs> all right guys Oh my goodness. It, I can't believe it's so late. Uh, yikes. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and I will get um, messages answered for people later. I need to clean up and I need to check my work email and see what's going on. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for being my support and always being here for me. Thank you for all the prayers and um, all the sweet messages. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow <clears throat> as i choke so tomorrow will be on the other page i'll post that we're going to do the winter insert for the truck okay that's what we're doing tomorrow <laughs> okay guys i love you i'll see you tomorrow Mwah.